Leftists are demanding all reminders of America's past be torn down. These demands happening in the context of destruction, violence, and hatred of law and order, with Marxist groups like Black Lives Matter and Antifa organizing and instigating. Last week in Richmond, Boston, and St. Paul, statues depicting famed explorer Christopher Columbus were vandalized, with leftists saying he began a mainstreaming of genocidal murder of indigenous people. Pope St. John Paul II faced similar criticism in 1992, celebrating the 500th anniversary of the faith arriving in the Americas. The New York Times led the way for the liberal establishment in ripping into the church for insensitivity as the Pope arrived in the Dominican Republic, where Christopher Columbus first came ashore in 1492. Today, little has changed with the narrative pushed by Democrat politicians that history must be erased after being condemned. Last week, Speaker of the House and fake Catholic Nancy Pelosi submitted a letter demanding the removal of statues depicting Confederate historical persons from the rotunda of the U.S. Capitol building, claiming they pay homage to hate. It was wrong then, and it is wrong now. Democrat Virginia Governor Ralph Northam announced at the beginning of the month the statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee will be removed from Richmond's Monument Row. The left is even calling for the demolition of images of the Founding Fathers, according to CNN correspondent Angela Rye. American history is not all glorious. George Washington was a slave owner, and we need to call slave owners out for what they are. To me, I don't care if it's a George Washington statue or a Thomas Jefferson statue or a Robert E. Lee statue. They all need to come down. Now, with leftists taking over a six-block area of Seattle's downtown area, claiming it an autonomous zone separate from the United States, their boldness is growing daily. Rodney Pelletier, Church Militant, Detroit.